Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where I want to show you how to use Widget Designer to easily control a Terra system. So let's imagine you have a Terra system in place. That's meaning that you have a Terra controller which is connected to a network switch. And in addition, you do have transmitters and receivers which are all connected to the same 10 gigabit network switch as well. So using this SDVoE system, you know, you can route and switch signals from transmitters to receivers. You can build multi-views and you can use all that for KVM functionality and so on. Using the Terra Manager is the way to set up display arrays. So meaning multiple receivers being connected to one display array like in a projector blend or in our case here for our example in a 2x2 two two monitor wall. So setting this up makes it easier and user friendly to assign a single source and just drag it across multiple displays so that it makes it easier to set those areas up and that you don't have to think about splitting the signal. You just drop it on there, you move it around and place it as well in a multi-view just on the position where you want to have it. Once you have done and configured the system with the Terra Manager, it is often about to ease the system and to make it happen that the end customer is having a simple interface with only the functionality which they need to, let's say, apply different layouts or to switch single sources from A to B. How can we do that? It's fairly easy. We just use the widget designer for it and it is really simple to do so, even if you have no clue how to use the widget designer after watching this tutorial, it is no issue at all for you to do so. So let's start from scratch. This is a new project within the widget designer and the only thing we've prepared is the Terra Manager because we assume we have a running system. So we do see three display arrays, which we can use over here, a two by two info lobby wall. We have a two projector blend and we do have a single receiver for possible micro tiles LED wall. We're coming back to that later, just that you have in mind that this is prepared and we have the Terra controller running. To connect to this device, you easily go to devices configuration and this will open up the configuration window where you can click on create and add a new Terra device. The only thing you need to do over here is give the device a new name if you want to change that Terra 1 to another name which is more descriptive. You can set an ID and you can enable or disable the entire usage of this device. So if you disable it, you will realize that the circle over here is just in gray because it's disabled. If you enable it, it will come up with a blue circle because it isn't connected right now. As soon as you type in the IP address of the controller and you click apply to connect, you will see that the circle will be filled and the blue dot shows you, okay, my device is connected and I'm good to go. This is all you need to set up in the configuration over here for now. As you might know, you can easily select the custom script button from the toolbar up here and open it with a right click properties to enter the script, which should be executed after we click the button later on. As we have named our device Terra, I can just start typing the letters of Terra and the scripting will come up with a suggestion that I might mean Terra 1. It automatically fills in a period after that as well. And this gives me the possibility to select from one of the suggested possibilities I can use which is connected to the Terra device. So in this case, I would choose apply layout and it automatically comes up with all the existing layouts I've previously created in the Terra manager. So in this case, I would like to choose Blu-ray full screen and I just close the um, command off with a round bracket to close the command. And that is all we need to do. We press the apply button or OK, go to the run mode and as soon as I press the button the layout will be triggered. So in this case I will quickly move the Terra manager to the right side that you can see what's happening. So we definitely have cleared all the devices out here. I'll put the widget designer on the left side and you will see as soon as I click the button 
the layout will be loaded over here. And this is the layout, which was the Blu-ray player being in full screen spanned across all the displays. If I do the same with another button, I could load a different layout by as well, typing Terra one period, apply layout and select from one of the other layouts, which you will see over here on the right side. Let's say the mixed multi-view, we close it up with a round bracket, press OK, switch to the run mode. And as soon as I click that button, you will see that the Terra manager will also load the entire multi-view windows which have been created before. Just as a comparison, if I click the apply button in the UI directly, it will happen the exact same stuff. So you see, this is how you would remote control easily with a single button click, with a single line of code, the Terra manager and to trigger all the devices as you want to have them. Creating a clear button is as easy as you created the apply buttons. So by opening up a new button, I just copied it and giving it a name, let's say clear display array. I can type in as well, Terra one period, and we start typing clear and it comes up with clear display array. In this case, instead of the layouts, we will get the suggestions of all the display arrays. And in this case, we know this is the lobby info wall two by two. So we're selecting this one, closing it with a round bracket, pressing okay, changing to run mode, and I can clear the display array. So now I do have two single buttons with a functionality of recalling layouts. And I do have a possibility for possibly at night to clear the entire display array. This is how easy it gets, how you can remote control a Terra system, even though you have no clue how to operate the Christie manager, because that could be done by a local technician. We've just focused on display arrays and their layouts. What we can do also in Terra is doing a direct switching of inputs to outputs. So for this case, we again use a custom script button, open it up, type in the Terra, and we can select the switching commands. And you will see there is switch video, switch video directly with embedded audio together, switch a separate audio, switch USB or RS232. These are all things we can easily move over the network from the transmitters to the receivers. If I start to open up this command with a run bracket, it will list all of my transmitters. So for instance, we want to route the Blu-ray player to the top right receiver of our display array over there. I press comma and now the scripting lists all my receivers. So top right is my receiver. I close the command again and we're done for this. We can easily press this command and we're doing a direct routing. What you will realize is that this doesn't show up in the manager because this is nothing related to layouts and display arrays. This is a pure switching like you would do on a matrix switch. If you're interested in switching something which is part of a display array and part of a layout especially. And let's say we want to exchange the source in the top right over here. This is the ID five. We will just easily use a different command. So we're not using the switch video because as I mentioned, this is a direct routing. We will use the command apply video source. This will first of all ask us for a display array name. This is still the lobby info wall two by two. The next one separated by a comma is the layout name. So we want to use the mixed multi-view layout. Within this layout, we want to use the view index, which is number five over here. So we enter this, oh, we need to enter five. And now we can select the source, which we want to route over there. So let's say we want to use Pandora's box quad three. We close the command with a bracket. And as soon as I hit on that button, we will directly switch that source and apply it on the top right element over here. To sum up, we have seen how easy it is to add a Terra device in Widget Designer. We just needed the IP address to type in. And from there, it was a single line of code 
to type in the custom script buttons to trigger layouts, to set routings, or to switch sources in a layout. Also watch out for the next tutorial in which we will show you how the widget designer can react on events which are happening in the Terra system, no matter where they're coming from, and how to automate a system which is always up to sync and react on changes. Have fun using widget designer and Terra and enjoy playing with both products.